With the dreaded October lull behind us, we now transition into Phase 4, October 25th through November 1st. This is Prelock. As in years past, this phase should offer plenty of opportunities. With fall in full effect, cooler temperatures are present, and a whitetail buck's instinct to breed takes over. So, more daylight activity should be expected. Just choose your tactics accordingly, and success in Phase 4 can be yours. Pre-lock is that period that we live for because the does aren't in yet, but the bucks, they have one thing on their mind and that's getting with the does. All of a sudden now they've bulked up, their necks have gotten a lot larger. You know, they come out, they're starting to posture a little bit. You see a little bit more sparring. Their home ranges start to expand just a little bit. The scrapes become very, very prevalent. A few more rubs popping up. This is the period of time that we absolutely live for each and every year. The pre-lock is when you're gonna see some big deer on their feet and looking for the first available estrus does. Once again, the food plots become the meeting grounds. This is the time, this is the place. It's when we see some of the best deer of the fall on their feet. You know, it's not uncommon to be sitting there and watching a food source, a green food source particularly, like we do so often, and see a buck come onto the field. A bunch of other bucks might exit the field or kind of get out of his way. And then he starts checking those doe trails and trying to figure out which one of those does is coming in first. Well, as they seek that first doe, it is this small window of opportunity that we call pre-lock. They're just about to lock down and they're looking for that opportunity. This particular phase, this set of dates, are some of the most productive we've had through our company's history. Some of the biggest deer and some of the best kills we've seen happen in and around phase four pre-lock.